Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to another daily video. Actually, wait, this is not a daily video. This is just a random video. I think I just said that out of habit. Um, <laughs> if you guys didn't get the news, I moved to Canada. I'm on the other side now. I'm currently living at a friend's place. And I'm going to be staying here for a few days until I find a place to live. Now, this is just a temporary setup. Uh, there's no green screen, no nothing. And the scene looks a little bit different. But I, I'm not, this is not nothing permanent. I just don't have my PC set up. I'm currently recording on my laptop. Through some miracle, um, in all my suitcases, I was, I was actually able to, f like, piece everything together I, I actually put everything in a different place like I have my microphone I'm, I'm holding it in my hand right now like if, if the audio sounds really weird I'm sorry about that there's nothing I can do I have to hold it in my hand um, and the core for this microphone and for my webcam uh, I had to had to dig it out of my suitcase some miracle I was actually able to find them pretty easily so here is my um, video on the Colossus Dungeon. So I want to talk a little bit about the new update. Now this news actually came out right before my flight. I wasn't able to talk about it because I was, well, I was already at the airport and I didn't have my, my PC anymore. Um, but yeah, here, here we are. It's, it's not too late to talk about it now because the update is not live yet and it's not too late for me to be my be the prophet again and make some predictions um so we're gonna take a look at this facebook post that they they had over uh, or they have on the official monster super league page so we learned three things from this first of all the colossus dungeon is coming out on june 22nd which is in three more days or two more days oh wait four more days fuck my math is my math is pretty bad okay um <laughs> Right now it's on it's June 18th at the time of recording so four more days um, and the second thing we learned that is that there's gonna be a cooldown on the on the party system so basically there's a two turn cooldown whenever you switch your whenever you first enter the fight and two turns whenever you switch your team so um, from the looks of this you can probably switch your teams infinitely and you basically have to wait two turns before switching your team again so the Colossus dungeon requires you to have eight units you need to put in two teams of four and then you can switch them um, whenever or every two turns basically and the other thing is um, the actually the most interesting thing is you can't repeat monsters so if you look at this picture over here he put in the verde and then all the other verdes you can't put put them in and same thing for the garudas after you put in a garuda you are no longer able to use the other garudas even the garudas of different elements so this actually makes things really interesting i think this keeps things um this this makes things pretty fun because you if you can't use like repeat monsters i have a lot of repeat monsters if you look at my box I have like Mona's, Miho's, uh, Sirens, Repeat Monster, um, a lot of Miho's actually, and Sea Stars, uh, Victoria's, July's, Gatito's, like they're all Repeat Monsters, I, and I I won't be able to stack them. I won't be able to do do some really OP shit um, by like stacking some Repeat Monsters. I don't think it matters too much because I think all monsters in the game are replaceable. There's definitely better versions of every monster, but um, or or better monsters for specific tasks. But for the most part, most monsters in the game, um, you know, their passive skills. Like if you really require something, like if you really need like a armor break, um, there's a lot of monsters that have them. Not everyone has 100% armor break, and obviously 100% armor break is better than 80%. But it doesn't mean that you won't be able to replace an 100% armor breaker with an 80% one. It just won't be as reliable, depending on the situation. Um, so I don't think it's going to be too bad, as long as um, you can build a team that, that works for the Colossus Dungeon. It won't matter too much. But I think the thing that makes makes this really interesting is um, you'll see a lot of players use like, the same type of monsters. There are certain monsters of, of different families that are better than others like for Persephone's for example like all the Persephone's are super strong um, and then you have something like the Shivas who are pretty shitty like most of them are pretty shitty um, so definitely I think that that brings a little bit more of a dy dynamic to the game where you won't you're not just worried about having all the best units you have to worry about um, using different units of different families which actually makes might make some monsters more viable like for example if you want like the best sapper in the game um there's the water there's the fire persephone who basically has like 100 percent sap so this is like super super good but if you want something as good 
there's really nothing because all the other monsters like for, for Yuki's is like 60% two turn and then there's I think there's a, the Light Banshee who also has the same skill who's like also really really good but then the Light Banshee is like really really hard to obtain as well so uh, not everybody has that monster so if you want something that has like you know um, a reliable AOE sap or something like that then you have to look towards another monster like a t completely different monster and the Shiva has like an 80% two turn two saps so it's not as good as a 100% two turn, um, like two turn two saps for 100% on the Fire Persephone. But this is like the second best thing. And if you can't use another Fire Persephone, then the next best unit to put in would be like to the Water Shiva. If, this is just an example if you're talking about like AOE saps or something like that. And there's a lot of examples of this in in the game. So um, this actually does bring a lot more dynamic in the game where you can't like if I can't repeat the same monster i'll have to you know put in a, a totally different unit um so that actually might make things a little bit interesting uh the the one thing i want to predict which i i don't think anyone well probably a lot of people thought about it but nobody really talked about it is the the need maybe for um more defensive monsters because right now you know if if you're talking about offense if you're talking about damage um you there's you can still get your damage really really high because there's a lot of ways to build damage there's like crit rate crit damage and then there's attack you can either stack attack you can make sure you have 100 percent crit rate and then you want to find like a good balance of crit damage then so um the the ceiling for like the maximum highest amount of attack is really really high but for now there really is no need for you to build a monster that's like super super tanky if you look at a lot of the top players in the game um and their gems most of them have like resist like you want to especially for pvp well things that people re would require to be like the best gems in in the game are the ones with like really really high resist substats and that's mainly because like there's the end game of pvp really requires you to do that and also it's also really really good for titans because the titans also um has really annoying debuff so you want to make sure you have like high resist and resist definitely does help with that as well but for now there's really no need for you to make monsters like super super tanky i want to say i want to just give an example say for example i have like a um a defense protection gem this this actually is not too good of an example but if i had a gem that had like defense and then like a 20 percent hp substat or something like that that gem would still not be required very good although like if you look on paper it probably gives like the highest health efficiency because of how high and how how high the substat for hp is and then like how it's a defense gem on the protection set as a main set uh, or as as the main stat so um it's like there there's no need for you to make a monster super super tanky like you don't need to make your monsters like have like um you know full protection maybe like two hp one defense and then like it all 20 percent hp substats like there's or and then for the hp gems all 20 percent substats there's no need for you to make a monster that tanky it's pretty much overkill because it doesn't require none of the monsters in the game really require you to to have that but i think if they increase the colossus dungeon to make it so like like there's the stats of the the colossus is actually higher than the stats of the golem and there's no effective strategy like you can do in dragons to like basically nuke down the boss before he kills you then the only other option would be to make your monsters even tankier than before so this actually makes me um kind of excited because i do actually have a few gems that are kind of like that like for my succubus i have like i have this gem that's that has like um hp resist and like 14 percent defense and then this these two are like also defensive substats although they're flat but um if you're only thinking about about it from from a defensive standpoint then th there's really no need for attack or anything like that although like probably attack probably gives me um higher efficiency in terms of like substats but if i'm only concerned about making my monsters as tanky as possible like this is already a really really good gen um so I think that's actually something that we might have to consider in the future. Like substats with um, HP, substats with defense might start becoming, might start becoming a thing. Like might start becoming something that players want to want to try to get. Um, so yeah, that's that's just my my little prediction. I'm I'm about fifty percent right usually when I predict things. So we'll we'll see about that. 
But anyways, that's just pretty much it. That's just a really short video. Um, I'll, I'll keep making videos these few days until I find a place. Um, it's just going to be a little bit messy with me recording like this, but it should still be fine. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.